It's a brand new school year here at Germantown High. Along with new classes and new teachers, everyone here is welcoming back our new principal, Dr. Ted Horrell. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to be back. I mean, this is really kind of a dream come true. Before becoming principal here, Dr. Horrell also attended Germantown as a student. He was a member of the wrestling team, cross-country team, and the 1991 state championship winning knowledge ball team. I really feel like I had, for me, the perfect experience at Germantown and that I got at least a taste of everything that Germantown has to offer. It was an interest in television that convinced Dr. Horrell to join production as a senior. Not only did he anchor Wake Up Germantown, he gave the show its name. Wake Up Germantown. I was on the, the first crew for the new show and uh, was selected as one of the first anchors. And I was also given the opportunity to produce. And uh, the way that I remember is probably the way you guys do things now at some point. There was just a group of us, and we were brainstorming and, and coming up with different ideas. It was the first year we were going to be doing Wake Up Germantown. And... We re really were looking for some excellent anchors, and he seemed to have a lot of talent in that area, and we really wanted him to be in the class, so we recruited him, so to speak. Aside from anchoring Wake Up Germantown, Dr. Horrell hosted Cable Quiz and even had a brush with a future superstar while hosting the 1991 Germantown Festival. He was not a big person at the time. He was quite a little person, uh, he and his little, little uh, female friend. <laughs> yeah, but they, I remember them, uh, even if he hadn't become a star, I remember them just because they seemed so natural and effortless. But Mr. Bluestein had more than television in mind when he recruited a young Ted Horrell. I really encouraged him to audition for the plays, and at first he did under duress, I think, but then he did it and, of course, loved it and ended up having leads in, in both the plays that year and was really fantastic. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I was interested in being on TV. I wasn't very interested in being on stage, but um, I kind of wound up being convinced that that might be a good thing to do, and I loved it, and I had a great time. Uh, I just remember when Dr. Horrell was curly in Oklahoma, um, he worked just as hard, if not harder, than everybody else. After graduating from Germantown, Dr. Horrell went on to earn a degree from the University of Missouri. After college, he backpacked throughout Europe before being recruited to spend 13 months teaching English in Japan. I felt like it, it made me appreciate teaching more, and it made me interested in teaching for sure. With a new focus in education, Dr. Horrell returned to the U.S. to become a film and video teacher here at Germantown. He had both the acting background and the film and video background. It's really hard to find teachers that have both of those qualities. Dr. Horrell taught in the Fine Arts Department for six years before becoming an assistant principal at Germantown in 2006. He spent the next year as vice principal at Bartlett High before taking over as principal at Millington in 2009. I didn't have a lot of experience to go on, but I certainly had a lot of help. I had great mentors, um, and I had kind of the experience of the ages, I guess. Outside of education, Dr. Horrell also makes music a huge part of his life. He started playing in rock bands in high school and then continued on into his adult years. One of his most recent bands is one you all might be familiar with, The Central Standards. But I'm a lifer, can't seem to get it right. Might as well just call the night. Slip down, hold my life. Started writing songs and playing out. We played, you know, we played two or three times a month and we made three records and uh, we took it seriously in that we practiced hard and wanted to be good and wanted to sound good uh, but it was great because it didn't really matter if anybody came to the shows or if we made any money or any of those things so it was just really mainly just fun. While earning the head position at Germantown ranks among Dr. Horrell's biggest achievements this year brought even better news to the Horrell family. Dr. Horrell and his wife Sarah welcomed their first child Fletcher. What can I do to help him have uh, the kind of experiences that I had and the kind of support that I had and uh, you know so that he's able to find what he likes to do and find something that he you know loves to do and can be successful at. Now three months into his first school year here at GHS Dr. Horrell is proud of all the work done by teachers and students and he's enjoying everything that goes along with being the head red devil. I just think it's fun. I like, I like interacting with the students. I like interacting with the teachers. I like trying to problem solve. I like that every day is different. Um, so it's, I really enjoy it. I mean, I, I love it. For Wake Up Germantown, I'm Lucy Fullerton.